Hi guys, it's Wombat and this is Mapa Sabo by Team Sabo. Mapa Sabo is a map of Argentine. It is currently in version 1.0 and contains about 4000 kilometers of roads on the 1 to 19 scale and about 10 cities in Argentine so far. The map is free of charge and requires 5 map DLCs, East, North, Italy, France and the Baltic Sea. And today we're going to do some flyovers so that I can show you what it's all about. I'm going to show you the map and I'm going to show you how you set this standalone map up. Before I go through the pros and cons as I see it on the map at the end of the video. So without further ado, let's get started. And here is the map and two things you can notice immediately is that Concordia is way off the rest of the map and that is because Concordia hasn't been added to the roads yet. The city itself is uh, more or less complete although it crashes in some places. Uh, it's still a work in progress and of course we don't have any roads going into Concordia just yet. The other thing is the background map. Uh, yes, that's Europe. I have no idea why they haven't fixed that yet, but <laughs> it's just how it is. Uh, the rest of the roads you see here are all connected, except for Esquel at the bottom there. Um, that is still, just like Concordia, work in progress. But yeah, there you have the map so far, and as I said, it includes about 4,000 kilometers of roads so far. And since this is a standalone map, it requires you to create a new profile. And I'm going to start by giving myself a name. I'm going to call myself Wombat Sabo. And then you go into the mod manager and add the five files or mods that this map contains. We have um, part four, three, two, one, and on top of that, the Passageros mod. Then you click the Confirm Changes button, select a picture, a preferred track design, a company logo, and a company name, VTGL in my case, of course. Also, I'm not going to use a Steam Cloud profile, that is optional, but you will have to change the playing module to mapasable.mbd before you click the create button. Let the game load for a bit and skip to wizard and then you can select your headquarter. As you can see the background map, never mind that this is not the UK. Uh, I'm gonna go with the default headquarter and select uh, confirm selection before I skip to tutorial. Let the game load for a bit and you're off to do your first haul. And with that out of the way, it's time to do some flyovers so that you can get a better picture of what this map is all about. Thank you. 
So there you have it, that is Mapa Sabo. Now my thoughts on this map is that yes, this is only version 1.0 and it only contains 4000 kilometers on the 1 to 19 scale. So it's a little bit small and also uh, the mountains on the map looks very outlandish and it also uses low res uh, images or textures. So I'm not a huge fan of the mountains on this map. There are also a few places or a lot of places on the map that is very low on vegetation. There isn't much vegetation. Perhaps that is how Arlington looks in many places. And if that's the case, I have no real problem with it. Again, this is version 1.0 and as such, it is a good start. And I really look forward to seeing version 2, 3 and 4 coming out of this team. It's a very, very good start to version 1.0. So I really look forward to seeing more from the team. Is it worth downloading? If you're interested in Argentine, yes. Uh, but I do recommend if you're not a huge fan of Argentine to wait for version 2 or possibly version 3 before you download the map. I'm guessing that it's going to be much more enjoyable on those versions, even though version 1.0 already is quite enjoyable. And with that said, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, subscribe as well. And till next time, take care, everyone. Bye-bye.